What's up guys, Action Jacqueline here. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of the Alopecia Princess channel. In this episode, I'd like to talk about the decision that every alopecia princess is forced to make at some point in her hair loss journey, and that is whether to wear a wig or not to wear a wig. Um, but before I get started, I want to take a minute to celebrate those beautiful bald-headed women who are out in the world wearing their situation on their sleeve, being true to themselves and true to the world about who they are and what they represent. Trailblazers opening the doors for our hair loss community and showing the world that we are beautiful and dynamic and special and important despite our hair loss and that all of our hair loss is not related to cancer. A lot of people really don't know what alopecia is and if they do, they don't know enough about it to draw a proper conclusion. You know what I mean? So let's, let's take a look at some of these beautiful women. I am blown away when I see women walking around town donning their naturally bald heads. I look at them and I wonder, what level of awareness? How much planning? What prayer did you say before taking this huge leap of faith? I think most of us have the same reaction. We say things like, if I look like her, I wouldn't bother wearing wigs anymore either. If I had her confidence, if I was slimmer, younger, taller, <laughs> shorter. Well, at the end of the day, all I can really say is thank you to these women. If not for them, I don't think anyone would use the words bald and beautiful in the same sentence. I also don't know if the average person would know that there's such a thing as hair loss that's not sickness related. Because of these women, I know that I'm not alone. I know that if one day I get tired enough of the wig struggle and decide to just stop wearing my wig altogether, that I can join a community of women who have prepped the world for me for that. I salute you. I salute you bald and beautiful women. Yes, these beautiful and courageous women should definitely be celebrated. Um, but you know what? I gotta say something. On the other hand, while they should definitely be celebrated, so should we. So should us women who choose to wear wigs. Because if you have suffered severe hair loss, uh, you definitely suffered some serious trauma. Losing your hair is the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to me. It's a challenge that follows me through life. It, there's never downtime. There's never a moment where I say, okay, I'm going to breathe now because today I don't have alopecia. No, I have alopecia each and every day of my life. It's been well over 30 years and I haven't had a break. I think that anybody who is going through it, uh, is courageous no matter what they choose to do if they cover their hair in a wig or a scarf or a hat or they go completely bald we're all courageous and we all deserve to be celebrated i think a lot of bald-headed women have this idea that their life is going to be better when they can go out into the world as bald-headed women I tried doing it and I didn't like it. It really wasn't for me. I was approached by so many strangers who had so many questions. There was a whole lot of finger pointing by children. Um, the men, and this was the worst part for me anyway, because I am accustomed to a certain level of attention from men. Uh, when I did go out into the world as a bullheaded woman, I got zero attention from men. In fact, I noticed that men went out of their way to ignore me. I don't know what the reasons were for, you know, their very conscientious effort to avoid me. Um, I could sit here and draw a lot of conclusions, but I'm not going to do that because oh, nobody wants to go down that rabbit hole, right? But um, nonetheless, I didn't exactly like it. I didn't like speaking to all the strangers. I didn't like that so many people assumed I had cancer. I didn't like being ignored by the men. I didn't like any of it. Another funny thing that I noticed, a lot of the women who were in my circle, like in my neighborhood, in my in my school, in my place of work, women who never really gave me the time of day in the past, when I took my wig off, all of a sudden they had so much to say. They had so much love to give. Oh, you look so beautiful without the wig. You never needed to wear it in the first place. Uh, I so respect your decision to do this. Like, why did these women have such a different view of me when I took the wig off? 
I'm not real sure. Uh, maybe you guys could tell me that in my mind. A lot of them, prior to me taking the wig off, didn't even like me at all. I don't know why they didn't like me. Maybe they knew I was wearing a wig and they didn't respect the fact that I wore a wig. Therefore, they didn't respect me. I don't know if they were hating on me because my hair was cuter than their hair. I don't know what the reason was, but all of a sudden these women are all, you know, chatting with me, talking to me and telling me how much they love the fact that I'm bald headed now. Why would they love that? That's another question. So I have two questions so far. Why did the men ignore me? And why did the women who didn't normally speak to me all of a sudden fall in love with me? What was that about? You guys can let me know in the comment section. So there's that. But nonetheless, this question as to whether you should wear the wig or not, this is probably going to come up several times in your life. I think ultimately what most alopecia princesses would like is the option to wear a wig today and not wear a wig tomorrow. I guess the more bold women who go out into the world and expose their natural aesthetic, the, the less questions people will have about it. So it won't be the job of the alopecia princess to educate every person on the street. I don't want to live my everyday life explaining to people my medical condition. That's not my personality. It's not for everyone. But I don't feel like I'm any less than the woman who goes out bald headed. I don't feel like I should be celebrated any less than they do. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace out.